Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be taking you through a non-completed project, right? I normally take you through the nicest homes for sale when they're completed. Sometimes they're even vacant, but this one's actually a raw developer unit. What that means is you get two asking prices. One asking price, you're looking at $14 million for a raw, completely as you see it, leaving it open to your imagination unit. The other one, you're looking at about $17 million, and they will completely finish that unit for you out the door. You just bring your toothbrush. That's it. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida, and I'm gonna be showing you all kinds of real estate, but it's always gonna be the best kind of real estate for sale in South Florida, sometimes out of the state and out of the country. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. So I'm gonna be taking you through this unit. Let's go head down. This is out, we're out in the terrace of the first part of the second floor. We're gonna head down to the first floor and get started on this tour. So we'll start right now with penthouse one. This is a five bedroom, six and a half bathroom. The total square footage is 8,700 square feet. You're looking at about five, 6,000 inside and then 2,000 outside. So as soon as you come into the front door, you pass a gorgeous half bathroom. Each, each bathroom is completely just filled from the floor to the ceiling with marble. It's just, it's like done to the nines. And again, since it's not really finished yet, you're, when you buy it at the asking price, it comes just like this. So it comes raw like this, leaves you enough space to put enough imagination, anything you wanna put, art, mirrors, anything like that. I wanna start this way. Let's go this way. But as soon as you come into the unit, it takes you in. You got your stairwell over here and just keep in mind that the railings, once again, these are not the finalized railings. You're gonna put some ridiculous glass probably railing in there. But you do have a really cool personal glass see-through elevator that takes you to the second floor. Who doesn't need that? And these kitchens, honestly, in both penthouses have just like one of the nicest layout, most unique kitchens I've ever seen, right? The, the coloring, first of all, it's like this, like green that you would see on like an Aston Martin or something. It's beautiful and you got the Wolf appliances going all the way around. A little hidden feature too is you got pop out sockets right here, just come out beneath. I think you can think why that would be amazing, charging your phone obviously. But you got just like overall the size of this, it's nice and open. I'm gonna take you to the part that is the most unique, most shocking. Basically what makes this penthouse as special as it is, is when you walk into the living room, you have floor to ceiling windows overlooking the world. It feels like you're overlooking the world, honestly. And here we have uh, some renderings for you to look at. I'm gonna put these to pop up as well, but you got renderings of what the living room could look like, but you can see if you own a place like this, this is like something out of the fountainhead, honestly. This is like you own, you're the top of the world, top of the city. This is where the kings of New York will live. Or the queens, or the queens. So what I would say is you have this, this is the first wall on the whole living room floor. So the TV is definitely gonna have to go up onto here. And if the TV is going onto here, that means your furniture is gonna be surrounding it. So I would put a sofa here, sofa there, sofa there. So you have three just sitting out facing the TV and then behind you dining table. I think that's a perfect. And then you got entrance on one side and entrance on the other side, which is spectacular. Not only can you see the ocean, I can just look up and directly see the clear blue sky. And today is a ridiculous day. It's freezing, about 60 degrees today. And on top of that, it's completely, let's just, let's just go show you. I don't know why I'm trying to describe a beautiful day. The heck. <laughs> So when you come out onto the balcony, it's it at first like it's a little overwhelming to describe. The first thing that I see besides the obvious is I can see the entire skyline of Miami completely unobstructed. The highest it feels like one of the highest points you could probably be next to the Porsche design tower across the, the street over there, but we're on Collins Avenue, very noisy at you know intersection and I don't hear a thing. Completely silent, no wind. The way that the building has been designed, there's just no wind. And as you come around, look at how endless it looks over here. From right here, doesn't the clouds over there look like mountains? It does. <laughs> it's crazy. That's how high up we are. We're on the level with clouds. So it looks like you're on the mountains. And as we come over here, it has this like Titanic perch where you can come to the end and like stand. And when you look at the property from this angle, it's actually a little, it's a little shocking. It's, 
you can see the whole shape of the building. And on one side, I see the bay, the, you know, the, where people live, the city, the ocean, and then the true Miami city on this side. But we'll walk down this side. I'll spend as much time as I can out here. So like I said, 2,500 square feet of terrace space out here and just unobstructed. You're higher. We did the video at the Regalia that'll pop up right here. But you can see the penthouse that we did over there. We're towering over it by a few stories at least. On a day, what, today's what, Tuesday, traffic is completely silent because you're, you're just so high up. You can see into the water, just beautiful. No, actually, yeah, let me see that. No, do you need them? No. This is crazy. Okay. Thank you, Alex. So, from here, let's go. I wish I had these now. These, these are great. Wow. <laughs> these are great. Okay, so yeah, from here, we're gonna head back in and take a look at the, the first floor, as I said. So, you come in, and on the left, you have one of the first bedrooms and, and bathrooms on this side. So, you can come on in. Huge space, each room is gonna to be tons of space. I mean, this, this unit is not like the biggest unit interior, but they still spent a good amount of square footage in each of the bedrooms. So a bed would go here, TV on the wall, it's just got all the space. And, and look, check this out, in the room, you have a nest, which is fantastic. And then here you have the bathroom. I think this might be the master suite, honestly, because you have a soak-in tub, walk-in shower over here, and just notice the marble goes all the way up and around everything. It goes from the floor all the way to the ceiling. And besides, is this? Okay, this is where the toilet was. And then here you have the walk-in shower. And take a look at this. So you come in, imagine taking a shower. Oh, that's so clear, I didn't even realize. But you just, first of all, all the comments I get on these YouTube videos, oh my God, you're taking a shower and people are looking at you, who? When an airplane flies by and they have binoculars? Yeah, shark. <laughs> shark? No one's looking at you. And on top of that, two rain heads at the top, the jets. And then you got this, to me, a little feature, place to put up all the shampoo and soap. I just love that. And uh, yeah, and the drain, even that drain is elegant. It's amazing. So let's pass out out here. And again, um, I've been here before, but I did a quick preview, so I'm kind of taking it as I go. But I mean, even just when you're coming across where your sink is, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely spectacular. For the price point that we're in too, this completed, as I said, is 17 million. We're at the Regalia and the other, and the Porsche is 32 million, 25 million. So it's it, that good price. So you have a little wet bar here. And then this, I guess, could be like a sitting room or maybe a great kid's room off the master suite. All right, now that I'm filming this scene, I think this actually might be the closet because the bedroom goes from right here into this space. So I think this was the closet. Something like that, but you know, this maybe an office. I would say like an office, wherever you want to flex. But it takes you back in. This is where the half bathroom was that we saw. So we'll cross back over this way. And it takes you, this is the laundry room. It's perfect for guests because they have a toilet, walk-in shower, and then it leads into this side. Here I have two, two guest bedrooms. First one over here, look at the space. And on top of looking at the space, look at these views that you get. Really, really fantastic. Nice and open. I love how tall these windows are. It's ridiculous how high they go. They go all the way up and on this side of the guest bedrooms, you get the ocean going down north over to Fort Lauderdale. And then just check this out. When you look at the sink from this angle, you can see the ocean. So it's a beautiful thing to walk into when you're going to the bathroom. You're walking up, you're just looking at the ocean. And then it leads you into another super tall walk-in uh, shower sink and has access to the balcony as well on this side. So this is actually where the balcony on that side cut off. So when you come out from this guest suite, it shares with the guest suite next to it. But look at the view you get from here. All of the inner part of Miami, it's freaking beautiful, honestly. But this is just, um, this is, as you can imagine, putting the furniture out here, having whatever other seating you're gonna have out here. This is a great, if you're a guest staying the night here, coming out here to smoke or whatever the heck you want to do out here, it must be amazing. But let's go take a look upstairs. And uh, there's a little bit more, a little few more surprises up there. Up nope, you're past where the elevator is gonna be, which is super handy. It's a really great location right in the front. It's, it looks very sleek and clean. It's not even like an obstructing kind of thing. It's 
It's like a, a fish tank that takes you up, honestly. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this second story is that when you come up here, it overlooks your whole living area where people come in and I mean, that's just a flex in and of itself. One really beautiful thing is that when I'm standing here, look down there, is that even real? That's, look at the ocean just sitting out there, flowing, gorgeous. And then I get one of the most beautiful Instagram places right here. Nice little perch, gorgeous, overlooking everything else. Beautiful million dollar houses. We're gonna come back, go this way. This passes where the elevator takes you up right here. Come down. And then you have another guest bedroom on this side. This one's huge, it's a huge space. Look at the size of it as I'm walking down, overlooking this huge wall and you get two Juliet windows. And for those of you who don't know what Juliet windows are, these come up and lets in fresh air, but it doesn't open up. There's no like balcony access. And then over here, all the, are you noticing the views while I'm walking? But over here you have the bathroom. Again, it's the same kind of layout in each guest room. The space is ridiculous, but just standing from here, looking out this way, I can't even see sand. It's just water. It's beautiful. Just past where that guest bedroom was, takes you into another guest bedroom. This one, maybe even another great space to make an office if you needed one, but it's got that same open window right here. This one has more of a view of inland. I can actually see the skyline of the city of Fort Lauderdale, which is gorgeous. And you can, if you look far enough, you can see the entire line of Palm Beach. That's how high up it goes. And on a beautiful day like today, you, you really appreciate it. But So up here on this spot, this is like an open loft area, maybe like an upstairs living room for the guests to have. It's got its own thermostat, but the real talking point of this room is out there on the terrace. And let me just take you up on there to show, show you. So as you come out onto here, beautiful. I think you can already see what I'm talking about. You have a pretty deep, I mean, you can call this a jacuzzi. I'm gonna call this a pool. It's huge, bigger than most people's pools at their house, but it has a nice stairwell that leads up to it. And again, you're looking at a raw, incomplete version of this unit for the, the full, you know, uh, $17 million asking price. You get this thing completely fit, outfitted and ready to go, move in ready with furniture and all, and just take a look. It goes around, you have the window. So this is the window overlooking your living room, which is really cool because you can literally see in, you're downstairs looking over the party going on, you're thinking, damn, why am I down here? And they go upstairs. And then a great place for an outdoor summer kitchen right here. Once again, overlooking the interior, but as you can see on top of being so high up, so private, you also have these like reflective windows so you can barely even see through. You get tons of privacy and I'm sure that helps with your electric bill as well. And then a really cool feature I like about these windows is that you have these nice balconies. So let's say you're hosting a party up here. You open this guy up and you have one of the one of the most surreal views that you can possibly find. You look out over and as high, as high up as we are, I can see directly into the clear blue water and goes on for miles, it's endless. Looking out over onto this terrace, comparing it to the places that we've been before, you know, we've been to the $32 million penthouse, we've seen what a $32 million penthouse looks like in Porsche and, and all the other places, and for, you know, the completed price of 17 million, it, you know, it's sue me, it's a steal, right? You mean, the space, the views, you get everything that's included in a luxury penthouse for nearly half the price. So there's no comparison there for me. Um, and again, I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. Our next video, surprise, surprise, if you've gotten this far, I'll ruin the surprise. They're gonna be in New York, whatever. I have some insane, so the last time I went to New York, I really focused on getting tours so I was unfamiliar. This time where I just got some really great places. So you're gonna see an amazing tours in New York. I'll only do two of them. Since last time I did like five and no one watched any of them. Oh well, but I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do two this time. I think you guys really like it. And don't forget to subscribe and tell your mother about this channel or your father or your friends. Just tell everybody. Go on, tell the whole squad and then subscribe. Okay.